Ooh, that tickled. What? Hold on. Dearly beloved. God damn. Art is what we're doing. So we have a resilient freedom shirking fort. Uh, resilient freedom, sturdy energy. If I could, I would swap out sturdy energy for shirking fort, or you know maybe the uh, skyfall sword nullification perk. Um, we're gonna do resilient freedom, empowering breaker. I think empowering breaker is still really good to get in the event that you are going against a defiant great sword that's blocking. You're gonna get another stack of empower. We have Resilient Shirking Energy, Fortifying Shield Rush to get the 19% Fortify on our Shield Rush. And then we have Refreshing Shirking Fort and Empowering Leaping Strike. I would swap out Refreshing for Resilient if I could. Uh, necklace, we're using Champion's Amulet. This amulet pairs so perfectly with this build. Um, I found that the Stamina Recovery from Champion's Amulet in combination with Shirking Energy and the Light Pants really kind of overrides the debuff that we now have in light armor. I've had no issues with running this and uh, montage that it's really easy to escape. Um, Champion's Ring for hardy, keen, invigorated punishment. This way, when we do hop on a target, we can throttle up our damage relatively quick. Um, you could also do Mortal Empowerment if you're very confident in getting kills, but you know, you're in Onslaught, you're going to catch a big burst at some point, so... You know, this is nice just to have some nice on-demand damage. For uh, earring, we're, we're doing Doom's Chance earring. Pretty standard strength earring. Um, for the shield, we're doing a vicious, refreshing, keenly jagged shield. Along with the Shadow's Edge with an Arboreal Cruel Rune Glass Gem. This is going to allow us to do 10% damage against targets that are specifically slowed. It's also going to do... Uh, a poison that does 8% nature damage per second for two seconds. So whenever we hit a target that has that slow, we're just going to be lighting them up with a nice little dot in conjunction with uh, Keenly Jagged. We also are going to have Rogue Enchanted Keenly Empowered with Vicious. So for those that remember Tiger's Instinct, uh, stacking up Rogue with uh, Vicious is a lot of damage, especially if you hit somebody from behind. You get in with a slow, with a leaping strike, you're going to do a ton of extra damage. Uh, for the Great Sword, we are using a Arboreal Gambit gem with an Arboreal Attunement, Vicious, and Keenly Empowered perks. This allows me to just throttle out a lot of burst damage all at once. Um, you'll see me do some charged heavy attacks where I'll pretty much just bonk them like a heavy attack from a hammer because all of these are popping off at once. We are using the tier two major heart rune of detonate again for the movement speed. And we, since we're doing three abilities on the onslaught tree, we definitely do not want to be buffing our detonate and receiving 15% more damage. So again, playing a little bit conservative by not upgrading this. I I just love having this as a speed buff. I use it mainly for speed, less for actually doing big bursts, but you know, it's just a really nice utility ability. Uh, for Greatsword, we are going Crosscut, Relentless Rush, and Skyward Slash. For Defiance, this is as basic as you can get for your Defiance abilities. So we're, we're picking up Perfect Vigilance in case we do get hit. We're going to get that Fortify to kick in automatically. We're going to get Blade Honing so that all of these buffs that we give ourselves, we're going to give ourselves more uh, base damage increase, 3% per buff. And then, of course, we're going to get Unflinching Blade so that our Charged Heavy Attacks have Grit and they will inflict Bleed, which will be 5% of our weapon damage every second. For our Onslaught Passes, we are stacking Giant Slayer with Heavy Blade. Uh, from the Dracula build, I learned that if you have on, you're in Onslaught Stance and you open up with a Relentless Rush, this Giant Slayer just buffs the hell out of that damage. Um, we're going to get Step and Strike. We're going to get Critical Comeback. We definitely want to pick up Aggressive Shift. There are times when I am 
on my sword and board. I will roll to my great sword into a heavy attack. I'll land the heavy attack, and then I'll immediately go into either a relentless rush so that we can uh, root the target, or I'll go into a skyward slash so that I'm hitting the target with three stacks of rend, and then I'll go with relentless rush and follow up with crosscut. There's just a lot of different combinations depending on what ability is up and just what is needed in the fight um, to really, you know, accentuate like each of these abilities with uh, aggressive shift. For sword and shield, same standard setup that I use in my berserker. We're going to be using leaping strike, shield bash, uh, shield rush. Um, we're picking up all the passives on Swordmaster so that we can get leadership. Uh, we're not doing any real block buffs besides counterattack and uh, defensive training. You will see some other builds that will go with like sturdy grip and high grip. It's just going to be more efficient blocking. If you do this with like a sturdy perk on your shield, you're going to have a really easy time blocking. This will help you with charging against muskets um you can either do it the efficient way or you can kind of do it the berserker way where you catch a hit you give yourself that 10 percent fortify you roll the next musket you proc all your shirking fort procs and then you start charging towards your target with leaping strike and also your relentless rush for attributes we are doing 150 strength 150 dex 214 con this is going to give us 10% damage to melee physical basic attacks. It's also going to give us 5% damage to melee slashing and strike damage. In addition to 25% standard damage for melee weapons, light attacks. Okay, so basically your light attacks are actually really strong in this setup. And you'll see me like throwing a whole lot of light attacks with greatsword to essentially proc the um, armor snare, whether they're in light, medium, and heavy. Uh, it's, it's the best way to keep them in range to line up your, you know, a skyward slash or cross cut or your relentless rush or even a sword board ability. Um, and then the, the big thing here is the 150 dex. So we're going to get 10% chance to crit. Again, because we're getting that, no real need to pick up crush the weak. We're going to have plenty of crit. We're also going to be getting extra thrust damage, which doesn't really do anything for us because we don't have thrust damage except for your heavy attacks. Okay. So 5% heavy attack, for, uh, extra damage on your heavy attacks to give yourself that empower buff. Um, that's really all that's going to be doing for you there for damage. But this is the main thing. Uh, minus 10 stamina whenever you dodge. This is allowing me to maintain uh, a lot of iframes when I'm getting pressured. You'll see me roll two, three, sometimes even four times. If I time it right, I'll proc my shirking energy. I'll, I'll, if I get hit when I'm low, I'll get basically a full stand bar and I can do it all over again. I think the most I've ever rolled at once is maybe five times. Um, this has been the workaround, at least for me, to make this work for, uh, for light armor if I am getting pressured by a whole lot of uh, melee attacks. And then, you know, 214 con and light, not bad to have. I think most builds are going to usually cap out at 150. We're going up to 200. We're getting that extra cushion for the push in. We're sitting at 13.3K health. It's it's really fun. It's a, it's a very fast play style. Requires a lot of stance swapping, um, a lot of timing on heavy attacks, a lot of burst. You want to just go burst, 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 burst on everything. So whatever weapon you end up getting, make sure you have super high bursts. You want to make sure that when you do open up your, your stance and you go after somebody, you're hitting them as hard as possible. So... That's the build. Hope you guys enjoy it. And we're fighting fire staff. Around the tree, let's go. 
Oh my god, almighty! Your eyes, my friend. All night, boys. See four of them now. Come on, join along. Come here, come here. Crop that wants to kiss you. Come here. Oh, boy. You talk all this shit. You can't back it up. You little baby. Come here. Come here. Nice. Look at the shockwave. Oh, look at the wrecking ball. You're so adorable. I love it. Oh, look at the vines. Oh, you're so cute. You're a cute boy. I like you. Yeah. Mmm. How's my taste? I am horrible at this game. I am so bad at this game. It's disgusting. <laughs> 